a lot of push-up variations with the TRX um, because it requires shoulder stabilization. So not only push-up strength, but also stabilization, um, you know, because the handles can really move any which way. This is a little more advanced variation. So it's a push-up and reach. So one hand is just going to do a normal push-up. The other hand is reaching overhead, which does two things. It puts more load on the arm that's doing the push-up, but it also requires more core stabilization with this push-up and reach variation. Those of you who followed my blog for a while could probably recite this with me. I love push-ups. I love push-ups because, uh, you know, it's a great upper body exercise. It works the chest, the anterior deltoid. Um, also, your core is activated, your torso is activated. And it's integrated with your hip flexors. Your hip flexors have to work. So you see how it's a nice um, full body exercise, really, though we often think of it as just being upper body. This is a version we can do that's going to really build that stabilization. So think, too, you know, if you're down and you go to smother a puck and your arms out on that puck, that is a very vulnerable position. If you don't have the stability in that muscles that attach and stabilize that glenohumeral joint, like the rotator cuff muscles, you know, there is a, a, a chance that you could tear a muscle or even, you know, sublux or dislocate your shoulder in that position. So what we're going to do is have one hand on the medicine ball, okay, and one hand on the floor. Now you could use a basketball or something like that. Just make sure it's a pretty firm ball because when you come up on it, and you'll see in a sec, I don't want your hand sinking in. Okay, so we'll take a little bit of a wider stance with our feet. We're going to push up and then come up to stabilize. So again, my shoulder is really working to stabilize, but so is my torso. So that, I think, is one of the big foundation exercises for any goalie training program. You do a single arm standing cable press. We'll go from a staggered stance position, but keep that back knee bent. I don't want you posting off the back knee. I actually want you to have you use your legs and your hips and your torso to stabilize. So here, I'm fully set just about shoulder height, and I'm trying to keep my torso nice and stable so I don't want to drive with my torso. I'm staying still. I'm stabilizing hips, core, legs, and then generating the force with my upper body. This is a single arm dumbbell chest press. Um, I want you to keep your feet quite close together, so don't let your feet make a wide base of support. I want your torso to have to stabilize you. Um, and then I like to bring this arm up just to sort of, if I see it wiggling around, then I know that my torso is going. I come down, again, just so that the dumbbell is about at ear level, push up and in, keeping my forearm perpendicular to the floor the whole time. 